Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1379. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about housing markets with the highest resale potential. So this article comes to us from Yahoo Finance and Go Banking Rates and was written by Yale Bizuwadi Kennedy. It says, while becoming a homeowner has been very difficult lately, namely with soaring rates combined with high prices, which make for an arduous road, owning a home can prove financially beneficial in the long run for a slew of reasons. Indeed, as a new Realtor.com report noted, patience pays when reselling it. Not only does patience pay in certain housing markets across the country, but it can pay even more. In May, median home prices increased to $417,300, a 5.8% price jump in the past year, the highest price ever recorded and the 11th consecutive month of year-over-year price gains, according to the National Association of Realtors, existing home sales report released June 21st. Here are some of the housing markets with higher resale potential, according to experts. Cleveland, Ohio, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Rochester, New York, and Providence, Rhode Island. According to Realtor.com's senior economist, Ralph McLaughlin, the metros where sellers ask the most year over year are Cleveland, Philadelphia, Rochester, and Providence. In these areas, sellers of existing used homes are respectively 14.7%, 11.3%, 9.3 percent and 8.9 percent more than the same time last year, said McLaughlin. These are more affordable markets where higher asking prices won't necessarily break the bank of home buyers. Angelica Ferguson Von Drack, a real estate broker in the Hudson Valley and Catskills region of New York, said, This is a standout market with immense resale potential, and the bonus is the region's proximity to New York City. According to her, there's been a surge in demand post-pandemic as people seek the tranquility and beauty of these areas. Towns like Woodstock, Rhinebeck, and Kingston offer a perfect mix of historic charm and modern amenities, making them highly attractive to a wide range of buyers, she said. In addition, she noted that the region's commitment to infrastructure and community development is another major draw and that the market there is remarkably stable. Unlike more volatile urban areas, Properties in the Hudson Valley and Catskills consistently appreciate, with record-setting double-digit appreciation year over year, she said, adding that even in economic downturns like we've seen recently, homes there maintain their value well. I have multiple clients who have owned a home for about two years and sold for twice what they paid for it, and that's not an isolated occurrence. It's happening all over the region, and resale profits in the 50% range are commonplace, she added. Susie Minken, a realtor with Compass, said that South Orange, Chatham Borough, and Madison, New Jersey, which are near New York City and highly sought after, have experienced significant price appreciation based on the Minken Housing Index, which estimates how real estate is trending in northern New Jersey. The average sales price in 2024, based on the first half of the year, has increased by 66.8% in South Orange. 51.1% in Chatham Borough, and 46% in Madison in the past five years, she added. Minkin said that drivers of the appreciation include the desirability factor. Buyers are choosing to live in these New Jersey towns because of the lifestyle offered, she said, adding that these have a vibrant downtown with great shops, restaurants, and parks that make for easy strolling. And importantly, these towns are located on the New Jersey commuter train line into New York City. Many potential buyers who are working remotely or on a hybrid work schedule want to be in close proximity to New York City. And a town that is on the computer train line will encourage home buyer demand for years to come. So this is a very interesting article packed with some practical information about choosing homes near commuter lines and major cities and how that can be a real boost to your resale value. 
If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips for your financial freedom. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.